Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got some more of my favorite urban fantasy books for you. All right, so I think we're probably getting back into a series with this. I remember starting a series that was kind of like this way back when I first started on YouTube. I think the playlist is still floating around, so if you guys want to watch that, I'll leave it linked up above. But yeah, I'm really excited to talk about some of my really favorite, like new or like newer favorites urban fantasy books, so uh, let's go ahead and just dive right in. So the first book series I'd like to talk about is the Black and Blue series. This is the one following Levi and Blue on their ghost hunting adventures. Um, so Blue can see ghosts and Levi happens to own a haunted house and they end up meeting because of this haunted house and kind of moving in and like trying to figure out why the house is haunted and you know trying to help the ghosts figure out what they need to move on and they end up falling in love in the process and it's such a good series and it's like so there's like a lot of emotions in it but I also really like the way that it deals with homelessness as well as uh, being ostracized for being different in, you know, ghosts. And it's a very much like a paranormal adventure romance and it's so good. And the cast of characters is amazing. And you'll just fall in love with them, I promise. They're so fun. Um, next up, I'd like to talk about Yagi the Bookshop Goat. Um, I love this. This is a really fun urban fantasy um, where Yagi is a goat and he loves books and that's not always a good thing in this society where goats aren't usually let into bookstores because they tend to eat all the books and all the paper goods they have. And Okami happens to own a bookstore and he gives Yagi the chance that he's been looking for to work in a bookshop and Yagi happens to have a special ability when he eats a book or a piece of paper he can tell the emotions that were put into it and he uses his power to help the customers find books that are good for them or that they'll love or it's just a really cute bookstore romance and also this is not for those under 18 so please check trigger warnings before diving into this. It's really really cute though. All right so the next book series I'd like to talk about is The Heirs of Chicagoland. So I finally dove back into this after I think two years. <laughs> I really enjoyed the Chicagoland Vampire series which this is a spinoff of um, and this is following the daughter of Ethan and Merritt who are my favorite characters from the Chicagoland Vampires and this follows Elisa and her like childhood nemesis, frenemy turned lover, um, who happens to be a shifter, as they go about these diplomatic missions and like fighting bad guys and like all your typical urban fantasy uh, shenanigans. I just really love that this is getting back to vampires and werewolves or shifters. And it's such a fun series and I really am glad that I dove back into this on you know, a whim. I can't wait to continue this series. Okay, so next up is a series I can't shut up about. I have an entire video on why you should read it and I will leave that linked above. And that is none other than The Last Sun, which I can't believe I didn't include in my last video. Um, but yeah, if you wanna know all the reasons you should read this book, I will leave that video linked above. This is one of the best queer-led urban fantasy stories I've ever read. And it's one that you should read if you want high adventures, if you want a queer found family, if you want a very queer led book, like almost every single character in this book is queer and you just, you fall in love with them. Also, I would highly recommend checking out the um, trigger warnings before diving into this series because they can be a lot sometimes. So um, this is definitely one to check out if you want a fantastic book that has a really great magic system based off of tarot cards, if you want just a really great magical city in general, if you want amazing side characters who get their own spin-off series check it out. And then the last book in today's recommendation is a one that I've recently finished and loved to pieces and that is Bite Me. This was just a fantastic book to dive into. Like I didn't know anything other than that it's a vampire and a human falling in love and like it's got some fantastic art in it as well. If you get the uh, paperback copy, it's also very queer. And it follows Blair who is finally like escaping a very bad situation and moving back to his hometown to the house that he inherited from his parents. And the house is kind of falling down and uh, he gets wrapped up in some town BS because, you know, there's something about his parents that they 
they did something and he doesn't know. And that's where Richard comes in, who is a vampire and happens to be the town liaison. He's the town, like the person they go to when there's problems. And Richard is kind of set to follow Blair around for a while, gather information. And what he doesn't expect is to catch feelings for Blair. And I just, I love this to pieces. It's so much fun. Also, this book is a chunk. It's got so many adventures and it's got a really great long drawn out plot and just like it's crazy but also like fun and like adventure and like there's so much drama and I love it to pieces and I could not recommend it enough. It's so so good and I can't wait for book two to come out. All right so those are some of my current favorite urban fantasy reads. Um, have you guys read any urban fantasy books that you really loved? Let me know down below. Um, if you guys like this video don't forget the like button if you haven't already but would like to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.